All right, hey, here's a quick video. Uh, cover today, class Friday. Uh, we're going to talk about the ready. Uh, you're going to have to do that. Uh, I'm going to help you with the ready by doing a couple of retrieval problems. The set is pretty much just a review of kind of what we did yesterday in the task. So I probably won't go over that too much. Um, but here, it wants for the, for the retrieval, it wants us to compare uh, and, and talk about a graph of a line. How does y equals x plus 5 compare to y equals x? Well, if you go ahead and graph y equals x plus 5, if you remember y equals mx plus b, b is the y-intercept, all right? So that would be 0 and 5, not 5. So if I go up to 0 and 5, the line is going to cross right there. And since it has the same slope, it's going to be parallel. Now, what has happened to the line, all right? The only thing that's happened to the line is y equals x plus 5 has shifted up 5 units compared to y equals x. That's, that's what happened. All right. So if we look at number 2, keep it simple. y equals x minus 5, what do you think is going to happen to that? Well, my, my y-intercept then is going to be 0 and negative 5, so that's going to be down here. So what's happened to it? Yeah, make sure you notate that in a complete sentence. It's shifted down. Now, here's, here's three. They're going to they're gonna play with you a little bit. y equals 5x compared to y equals x. Well, what does the 5 do? Just the other day in class, we compared y equals x squared to y equals 2x squared. And what happened? Well, this right here caused my parabola to go from this Okay, which is, is small. Let me, let, me, let me draw this a little bit bigger. All right? It caused it to go from here to this. this. This essentially is what that A value does. Well, think about it. The value phi here for a line is a slope. So what's going to happen here? I'm going to get, I'm going to get a line. I have it over here. I'm going to get a line right here, y equals x. That's this line right here, y equals x. All right. Now, what is 5x going to do? Well, there's no b value, so the y-intercept is right there. Instead of rising 1 and running 1, I'm going to rise 5 and run 1. Rise 5 and run 1. So now, what has happened? What has changed? Uh, the slope, and i got to hurry the bell rings. The slope of the line, 5y equals 5x, is steeper than THAN, sorry, I'm in a hurry, than y equals x. That's all that's changed, is the slope is steeper. Right? Uh, and then we go on, it wants us to create some equations here. Create the explicit function that goes with, here's your recursive, right? Explicit functions are easy. Use your paper that you have over here to map that. f of x equals, and for an explicit, you got to go with the first term. Well, what's f of 1? It says 12. Plus, again, use the blueprint. You don't have to create anything. It's all there for you. Plus what? What are, you, what are we doing? We're taking that previous term and we're subtracting 3, so x minus 1. There's your explicit function. Then it says create the recursive. Well, it gives me explicit. And it gives me an exponential function. So right here, the first term, f of 1, is going to be equal to 5, because that's what that states, f of 1. Then it says f of x equals f of x minus 1. And what am I doing with that? I'm multiplying, since it's an exponential function, I'm multiplying it right here. It's telling me my common ratio. There you go. Those are done. All right, I'll cover those in class. So as you go through and do the set, you should be able to describe what's going on uh, with these. So, so pay attention to these. They're, they're, they really shouldn't take you uh, that much time. If you if you struggle with this, go back and look at the uh, look at the task of what we did yesterday. There's only those four in class. So I just want to cover that with you and ask questions.